on the back straight, but uh, there's plenty of racing yet. Look at that fabulous shot as the cars go past the camera there, and they're doing uh, over 190 miles per hour as they go down that back stretch. Fabulous uh, performance from these drivers so far as we go into the final three laps now. And it's still Tony Renner controlling things from Mike Borkowski. Borkowski desperate for a good result here today. He's had such a terrible season. He's got Bobby Rahal, team owner, watching to see what's going to happen. And now they really begin to break as we've got a Tasman car on the inside, one on the outside. I can't see which one is which. I think that's Damata, who's got himself now back into second position. A little bit difficult to tell. In fact, it might be Dare. Oh, and they've lost it. It was Dare. He's hit the wall and another car goes up in the air, comes back down again. And we have an accident, which surely will... Uh, the yellows are out and that could be it for the race because it's going to take a long time to clear this up. So surely Renner, who leads at the moment is going to take the win we see several cars involved Shigiyaki Hattori's down there uh, who is that that's it and Dare who was in that incident as it happened initially Renner crosses the line Damata crosses the line in second place Paesi in third and that I think is how they will finish this race after a dramatic yellow flag right at the end of things with a very nasty looking accident involving Cristiano Damata and this car the one that flew in the air Mike Borkowski. And you can see the frustration for Mike Borkowski. It was his car that reared way up in the air there, came crashing down again. Great to see that he's all right. Lola builds a very, very good car for this championship. But the frustration for Mike Borkowski, he's been amongst those t top two or three cars all day long, all weekend long. And after the disappointing season that he's had, he really needed that. Here is a replay, though. The second and third place cars there are Dare, who gets clipped into the wall. And there, Borkowski flips right up in the air. And uh, those two came together. For battling for second place and there's another car I think that was actually an Oriel Serbia spinning through the inside as well well just look at how fast this happens when we look at it at full speed from the head-on camera now did Dare move over or did well it's very difficult to see what happened they just made contact hard to see exactly what caused that in the first place but disaster for Dare and for Borkowski that car shooting across now let's see what it looked like from on board with Chris Simmons Oh dear, there's a frightening thought. They're doing 190 miles now. Look at that car of Borkowski up on the outside there. And uh, there was the car of uh, Dare. There's another, another angle as well. You could just see that Borkowski and Dare come into contact there. Borkowski's gone way up in the air. And uh, that's a terrifying impact, isn't it? It really is. Now, it's hard to tell whether Borkowski came in from the wall or whether Dare went out. It really hardly anything to choose between them. They were just so close, so hard to read it. Look how close Borkowski went to going over. And that really was one ride that I should think you'll want to forget. But so fortunate that it didn't go upside out. There was Shigiaki Hattori on the inside, bouncing across the grass in the number 16 machine as he just took avoiding action as best he could. Well, another look uh, after what surely is going to be an accident we're going to see many, many times. One of the most dramatic accidents, certainly of the uh, season, as Borkowski. How did that car not go over? Well, it was just pure good fortune the way that the back end of the gearbox of the car hit the road and it brought the front back down again. Borkowski out of the car, Etten Dare out of the car. Nobody hurt, that's the good news but uh, a very scary finish. The cars, the leaders are on their last lap now, under yellow. There is Mike Borkowski, so bitterly disappointed. He so desperately needed a good result here today. What a tough time the team is having. And uh, any bad luck, well, it's going to be his. Let's hear from Steve Horn. But, you know, these guys are going for the lead, and they just obviously just clip wheels, and it happens. Without fenders on, the accidents like that happen. Uh, I'm just really proud of what the guys did this weekend. We, we had a tough time on the first day, and... Uh, Christiana's back uh, with a good points lead, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So for one guy, it's sadness. The other guy, happiness. Tasman's back on top, on track. Well, indeed, as they come round towards the checkered flag this time around, Tony Renner will take the checkered flag. Cristiano Damata in second, Sergio Paesi in third place. And that's a good result for Paesi. He's been a bit wild this year, but he's kept his head on this occasion to come through in third team boss Brian Stewart will certainly be pleased with that one and a great one by Andy Boss a career best for him in fourth position or he'll serve you another good running Guy Smith he'll be thrilled with that great points for sixth place he came into this race uh, with some trepidation as of course did most of these guys it was a, a completely different animal as far as they're concerned but there is the car of Tony Renner uh, Alco Capital and uh, Nassi Group the sponsors there of Matthew Cohen's Matco Raceworks team based in New Jersey brand new team this year and their first victory 
victory in only their tenth race. Actually, Renner missed one of the races uh, after a crash, so this is only his ninth start, and uh, there is his first victory. He's been in dominant form all weekend. Certainly had a very, very fast car, but he's driven a very fine race as well, this young man. A big future ahead of him, Ben. Well, he's, uh, done, as you say, done a superb job here today, and he will be delighted, as will the team. What a great performance. Chris Simmons up there as well. Uh, in 10th place in the end, so not quite as high up as he would have liked. But Renault wins the Detroit News 100 from the Michigan Speedway. The first time he's won a race in the Indy Lights Championship and the first win for the team. Second position for the championship leader, Cristiano De Matta, as we take another look at the replay, which caused it all to finish under yellow. But both drivers, OK. At 180 miles an hour, pieces of a race car can become sharp pieces of shrapnel, as the case with Mike Borkowski's helmet that's been gouged out. Mike, you've just been released from the hospital. What happened out there? Uh, it's, it's really a shame. I mean, we had, we had such a great car today, and I, I just wanted to bring it home so badly for the guys. They've been working so hard all year. And, uh, I mean, we, we, had, we had our strategy going, staying right behind Tony. And uh, with a lap to go, I was going to race Tony. And, I, and uh, you know, if I, as long as I was in second, the draft was going was to be for sure uh, my ticket. Um, Ayrton got under me, uh, coming through 1-2. And uh, we were sort of side by side. He was about a half a car length ahead going up the back straight and he, he was I think a bit over anxious to to tuck in behind Tony and get the draft and and he, he wasn't full by me when he moved over I was right along the wall so uh, really he needed to leave room and be side by side and as he moved over um, his right rear clipped my left front and there's just absolutely nowhere to go I either would have had to hit my brakes and back out or he would have had to just wait till he was fully by to, to move in there so it was just just unfortunate I mean the guys did such a great job today the points in the boss challenge for the oval. See Cristiano D'Amato, who has clinched that championship now, that part of the championship on the ovals, with just one more oval to come, and that's Fontana at the end of the year. It's been a great race here today. Phenomenal. I'm just catching my breath. Fantastic wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Great drives by a lot of people there. So that's it from Michigan, from Ben Edwards and Jeremy Shaw. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye.